This video is about a gas lamp post. Possibly the only gas lamp post that remains in the area, and hence it is locally listed. It's just across the road from the Burn Bullock. So, what we're looking at here is an Apple map view of this part of the road. Burn Bullock on the right. Creaky Green to the right there. And this is the London Road. And the Cricket Green itself over there. The imagery is April 2022. So let's go over here and see what I'm talking about. So over there is, that was a former bank building. There's a block of flats that replaced the Cricketers Pub and you can see the Vestry Hall in the background, the Cricket Green here. Sign towards St. Peter's and Paul Catholic Church, which is further down Cricket, the road called Cricket Green. And this tree is blocking what I'm trying to look at. Let's have a look at, see if we can get a better view from over here. Still not great. That's the post I'm, I'm interested in. Let's have a look at a photograph I've taken. This is a view from the other side, looking towards the London Road where these cars are. And you can see the base of the lamp post. That is what is interesting, is this box at the bottom. Now this was listed in 2017 as a re result of a request from the local group Mitcham Cricket Green Community and Heritage and I was involved in researching this and there were numerous theories as to how old this gas lamp post was. The council have listed it as a cast iron lamp post Mitcham Cricket Green and this number 717 is July 2017 when it was listed. Note that the location is the Jubilee Corner. This is a name given to this corner. Let's go back over here and see what another view looks like. Now this horse trough was moved back from the edge of the road also at the request of Mitcham Creek Green Community Heritage in order to give it some kind of protection against damage from a car mounting the pavement or a truck mounting the pavement. The reason I'm telling you all this is that there's a very good photograph taken by Bill Rudd on the Merton Historical Society's website of the fountain and hence you can see this post that I'm referring to. So let's go to the Merton Historical Society's website, the Bill Rudd Collection, over the parish boundary. It's called that because most of the photographs he was taking were of the Morden area. And so under Mitcham, and this is the photograph I'm interested in, 0375, so it was March 1975 the photograph was taken. As I say, he was taking photographs of the horse trough. And let's look at the largest resolution possible by clicking this link. And you can now see that the horse trough is at the roadside. That was its original location. And as I say, it was moved back away from the road. To protect it. Note also the sign, the Catholic Church of St. Peter's and Paul, which we still see today, but a slightly different physical sign itself. And as I say, over there behind those trees is the post that I'm interested in. Let's go back to the Bill Rudd photo and let's zoom in. And there it is. We can see the outline of the box at the base. Can't see the top, unfortunately. He wasn't, Bill Rudd wasn't taking a picture of the post, he was taking a picture of the horse trough. So what is of interest then, 
is this here, the entrance to the gentleman's toilets, which were underground. Let's have a look at an audit survey map of 1953, the Cricket Green, the road called the Cricket Green, the King's Head Public House, which we know today to be the Burn Book, it was renamed in 1975, the clubhouse of the Mitchell Cricket Club, and here is a corner, Trough and Drinking Fountain, is the abbreviation that Ordnance Survey put here, there, and it's possible, this is part of the road, this is the Cricket Green going into the London Road, and across from there are the, are the labs, the toilets, and I presume these lines mean this is showing staircase leading down to the underground toilets. So we now know that that's the gentleman's and that's the ladies from the photograph from Bill Rudd. So when researching this gas lamp, it was unknown how old it was. And one possibility was when gas lights were installed in Mitcham, this was in the 1850s. That would be nice if this was that old. And I think the Mitchum Cricket Green Community and Heritage website states that. However, the council wisely, in this case, chose to just record it as a gas lamp post. But going back to this box at the bottom, what is it for? Well, there are other examples of this lamp post with toilets, and specifically underground toilets elsewhere in South London. And here is the example near West Norwood Cemetery, situated between two underground toilets. The base looks the same. Here's another at Crystal Palace. Here we can see both Underground toilet entrances. And the same design. Let's look a bit closer. And there's an access panel. And vents of some kind. So what was this then? Was it just a gas lamp? Or is it related to the toilets? Well, there's a type of gas lamp that burns the methane that comes off of sewage systems. It's called a gas destructor lamp. And it's quite possible that that's what this design is. It would mean then that this gas lamp thought to be of the Victorian period, was actually built, or put in place, in 1930, when these toilets were built. Problem is, I haven't actually found references in the council minutes that prove this. Anyway, hope you enjoyed watching this video, and please press the like button if you liked it. Thank you for watching.